On August 13th, 2016, three individuals were inducted into the Sacred Heart Athletic Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame was introduced in 1993 to recognize the outstanding accomplishments and significant contributions by individuals and organizations on and off the field of play. With the addition of these three new inductees, the Hall of Fame has honored 45 individuals, 10 sports teams, and one family business. Recognizing past alumni with rich and varied accomplishments has allowed the Hall of Fame to honor nine decades of excellence here at Sacred Heart School. Alex Kuznia, a 2007 graduate, participated in three sports, football, basketball, and track. He excelled in both basketball and football, lettering in both all four years. In basketball, Kuznia finished his career as the second highest scorer in Sacred Heart history with 1,148 career points. He had a monster senior year, leading the team in almost all stat categories. He averaged 21 points per game, but had great passing skills in finding open teammates. In football, he had a banner year, rushing over 200 yards four times and finishing with a school record 1,338 rushing yards in the 2006-07 season alone. He also topped it off with 11 touchdowns. Head coach Dave Aker commented on Kuznia that Alex could do it all. He was a powerful runner, and anybody getting in his way paid the price. He not only scored often on the ground, but did it on kickoffs, receivings, and interceptions on defense. More importantly, Kuznia was a student of the game. He demonstrated a great love of sports, was a role model, and was a great example of what it meant to be a Sacred Heart Eagle. Coach Vonish summed up Kuznia and his contributions to his basketball team by saying that Alex was a go-to player, the guy you wanted to have the ball at crunch time. Kuznia was known to relentlessly work on his game. Uh, <laughs> even sometimes, I don't know if this is true, uh, at a school dance that was taking place, he was in the gym working on his moves instead of the moves on the dance floor, but that's another story. When others were dancing, he was doing his own dance on the gym, building his skills. Kuznia was honored with many awards his senior year. He was voted to the Minnesota nine-man All-State football team. Kuznia was named to the All-Conference team two years in a row for both basketball and football. But uh, most of my thanks goes to my family and well, especially my dad. It was yeah, letting me come here, take the keys, and I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but take the keys to come to the gym and, and even just, uh, I don't know how old I was, even with baseball and Little League, you made stuff for me to practice pitching and um, putting the basketball hoop up in the front yard and, and I spent a lot of work on that and I didn't, maybe didn't appreciate it as much then, but I've over the years learned how much you, how much time you put into helping me. Making a huge impact in two sports, Kuznia is very deserving of this honor. The Sacred Heart Hall of Fame is proud to have its newest member, Alex Kuznia. Chrissy Benson Dewey, a 1998 graduate, excelled in four sports, basketball, volleyball, track, and as a member of the fledgling softball program started in 1997. In volleyball, she was a standout all-conference selection for four years, and in track, she advanced to the Section 8 track meet in triple jump. It was in basketball that Benson set the bar high. She lettered four years and was a force in the Northern Galaxy Conference, in which she was named All-Conference for four years. In addition, she was voted the Galaxy Conference Defensive Player of the Year in both her junior and senior year. Her 1,468 career points ranks her third in all-time scoring in girls basketball at Sacred Heart. In both her junior and senior year, she was named by the Minnesota Basketball News Publication to be one of the top 100 players in Minnesota. Coach Chris Rex said of Benson's outstanding abilities that of all the players he has coached, Benson was the hardest worker. She will always be recognized as a great scorer. She could kill you with a three-pointer and then burn you with her first quick step and drive to the basket. 
what I remember the most um, are my teammates, both who I played with um, and also the ones that I play, played against. The coaches, my parents, my grandpa, my sisters, uh, the people who pushed me to do better, uh, to always keep my head up and to be a leader. Winning's awesome, and at times it feels like the most important thing. Trust me, we made it to subsections and lost two years in a row, always to Red Lake Falls. <laughs> she was known for her tenacity on defense and was a true leader on and off the court. There were not too many days that she didn't stay back in the gym, perfecting her game. Benson's outstanding athleticism led to her being named the Grand Forks Herald Female Athlete of the Year, both her sophomore and senior years. Benson went on to play basketball at Moorhead State. Benson has been a shining light to young girls at Sacred Heart as a great athlete, great leader, great student, but most of all a great person. Qualities that can inspire and be instilled in all our athletes for generations to come. So to our current athletes and our students of Sacred Heart, never stop working hard, always push yourself, your teammates, and your classmates to do their best. The memories you're making now will last forever. Best of luck. Sacred Heart School is pleased to induct Chrissy Benson Dewey into the Sacred Heart Athletic Hall of Fame. For 1986 graduate John Absey, homecoming was the best time of year. With the excuse of decorating, he had free reign to climb the scaffolding. If the old gym still existed, you would find his signature in the rafters multiple times. When not dangling from the rafters, he was climbing the walls of the school, literally. He was finally busted by Sister Basil when his foot inadvertently punched a hole in the sheetrock. While at Sacred Heart, Absey participated in football, basketball, wrestling, and track, and was a multiple letter winner. Uh, Sacred Heart, to me, was, uh, uh, well, one of stomping grounds to teach me what I'm doing now. But I, I really think that if I could say anything about Sacred Heart, I'd say that it was all about family. Um, I hated school when I started, and I would try and I'd get off the bus and literally walk away from school. But then as I went through uh, my years at Sacred Heart, I'd never wanted to miss a day, and I never missed a day even if I was sick because it was family and I was always learning something here. In football, Absey was the recipient of the Oil Can Award for several years, which honored his ability to keep things loose through his contributions of energy, enthusiasm, and grittiness. Football coach Phil Meyer fondly remembers Absey as a free spirit saying that he was always inclined to attempt another daring feat. After graduating from Sacred Heart, Absey joined the U.S. Army. He served during Desert Storm and earned four medals of commendation. Following his time in the Army, Absey worked with sports franchises in Fargo, Winnipeg, and Sioux Falls. Absey got his big break when he was hired as Special Events Coordinator for the NBA Utah Jazz. It was during this time that Absey helped create the now famous Utah Jazz mascot known as Bear. passionate about helping his community. He, along with Bear, have started two charities, the Bear Hug Foundation and the Anti-Bullying Coalition. Bear has appeared in over 5,000 events and over 400 charities all over the nation and has helped raise over $1 million for those charities. Because of Bear's impact on the community, Bear was recognized by the governor of Utah three times, who set aside a day named after him, called Bear Day. The one thing that I can say is that the school 
supported me so much and they were so concerned about just trying to get me one out of school so they could rest but I wanted to take that and I really feel that that's where I've kind of gone with my careers I wanted to give back I want to make sure that when I'm doing something with the people that work around me my crew and stuff I want to make them better people and I, that is one thing that I pulled out of you guys more than his athletic prowess it is his heart that has earned John Absey a place in the Sacred Heart Hall of Fame. We are grateful to our three newest inductees who have contributed so much to athletic excellence here at Sacred Heart School. Congratulations, Alex Kuznia, Chrissy Benson Dewey, and John Absey on your accomplishments. Welcome to the Sacred Heart Athletic Hall of Fame.